I just got home. <laughs> it is cold out there. And I mean really, really cold. <laughs> Hang on. I'm going to talk to you a little bit. Had some fun things happen today. Hello, Grandma DC here. I'm back again. Finally got my coat off. Got my keto coffee going. And um, I just wanted to chat with you a little bit today. I had a day off. I did just, well, I got off in the morning. And I just slept and slept and slept. And then I decided I was uh, going to go over to see Mom, and lo and behold, um, I was eating some pepperonis. I thought that's what I'm going to have today, some pepperonis. I put in some peanuts to roast. As you know, I like to roast raw peanuts in avocado oil and put sea salt on them. I just think maybe it's a little healthier and I lose weight eating peanuts. Not everybody does, so you got to watch. If those carbs affect you, they I'm lucky with the peanuts. Don't look a gift peanut in the mouth. Anyway... So, I was getting ready to leave, and Leslie, my cousins, all show up, and we get to talking, and lo and behold, come to find out they've had alien contact. And I'm like, what, in Missouri? you got to be kidding. Nothing happens in this state. We don't even have Bigfoot. we got something called Big Mo that no one ever really cites or sees or talks about much. I mean, you know. So, a pretty boring state. Truly. Oh, and I heard the other day that Missouri made like one of the top states to not visit. See? Proof. Positive. Boring state. <laughs> I can't remember why. It was on the news. Something about... Actually, I don't even know why. But we did. Doesn't surprise me, though. <laughs> For a lot of reasons. But uh, I guess people all think that about their personal states. I live here. I love it. Haven't found any place else that... I like any better. Home is where the heart is, right? And the heart's here. So, this is, you grow where you planted. I love all those sayings. You grow where you planted. Anyway, the girls were telling me that they had had an alien encounter uh, in Missouri. And they had been out deer hunting, and they saw two lights and what looked like a suburban SUV. But it was in a spot that it could not have been. Um, there was no access. There was uh, locks and keys and fences and trees and things. and. Uh, they were scared because they thought maybe it was the other hunters, you know. And uh, then they saw, like, lots of lights, beams of light in the wood, but they heard no sounds. And this is like, you know, 4.35 a.m. in the morning. They were getting ready to set up. They weren't hunting yet. They were just setting up camp to get ready for when daybreak happened. And, um, yes, girls in Missouri hunt deer. What's wrong with that? I hear people making comments. <laughs> I personally don't. But I can understand we we have an overpopulation and so forth they need to be thinned out my dad used to call them rats with hooves they do uh, a lot of damage even though they're beautiful cute sweet and I could never kill one personal opinion but I never tromp on someone else's uh, ability to do so because they are good eating <laughs> so we're all hypocrites in our own right and, <laughs> So anyway, I was just really fascinated by this alien encounter that they had and how it had disappeared and they never heard a sound and there had been other people that were reporting all these lights and I said, you know what? And they what? And I said, as soon as spring gets here and it warms up, just about mushroom hunting season because this is like a remote wooded area. I said, we're going camping. And they said, no, no, you can't go to the spooky woods. And I was like, why? It killed our uncle. And I'm like, that, you know, there's some story about that he did become mysteriously paralyzed. He claimed something grabbed him in the spooky woods and there was a bright light and everything. And I said, oh no, I got to see this. <laughs> I just, I tell you, <laughs> beam me up. Get me off the planet. Uh, that would be awesome. I've never seen anything. I, no paranormal, no aliens. My life has been 57 years of total boredom. I live in the show me state. You're going to have to show me. So, um, yeah, that would be interesting and a fun thing to do this spring. I've done really well today. I, um, I, I have to say on a, on a sadder note, I did make it to work last night. I was, you know, kind of half joking about tell my boss that she should mourn my passing, um, you know, if I don't make it because it was slick and everything. Well, it was slick in our county, a little bit better in the county where I work. Um, it was worse where Eli was, and uh, that's the way it goes in Missouri. Hit and miss here and there, you know. But I had left for work at just about three minutes until nine. 
and I passed outside of town where the highway split into two four lanes and apparently at nine o'clock which had to be just behind me uh, there was a woman 57 years old who slid off the road ran into someone else and got killed and I must have passed through that section two or three minutes ahead of her so uh, it was serious it definitely was some slick serious around here um, and I was only driving about 45 miles an hour and being really careful in my little light car that's made out of Reynolds wrap, you know. Reynolds wrap and Legos. That's kind of what my car's made out of. It's very light, you know, plastic and all. Uh, so I know that you got to drive careful, guys. you got to be so careful uh, in any kind of inclement weather. And it can sneak up on you very fast. So I've always, always been a knock on wood good driver and been very very fortunate and I want you all to be careful also um, I have to show you uh, Sydney my little cousin is in love with bottomless Mercutio or bottomless Merc as I like to call him and I think maybe she'd be willing to give him a home this spring uh, she was holding him today and he is turning into the spoiledest chicken on the face of the earth maybe we have to get him a chicken diaper my, a moosh mouth we may have to get him a chicken diaper and let him run around the house except I think Scud would want to play with him a bit too much. Right now, Scud's very interested in my coat because I had been over at Mom's. And uh, Mom got me a new ring for my birthday that's coming up. And I'm like, don't give it to me yet. I want to open something on my birthday. And she's like, oh, I'll have something else. She's hooked on Top Hatter. Oh, my God. So <laughs> I'm going to leave you not with a dose of cuteness because it's dark outside. And the day has gotten away from me. Like I said, I slept a good portion of it. But, um... I will leave you with this dose of cute. There's a face only a mama could love. Right, Angus? How about you, Scudner Wudner? A face to love. That's my boy. Got his new white suit on. Just looking good. Still white. Can't believe it. Here's my old girl buried down in the covers. Oh, yes, her's a sweetheart. Love you, Betsy. Love you too, mama. And here's old bottomless Merc. I'll tell you what, he's been through two cups of water and two cups of food today and still eating, getting bigger and bigger. Ain't you notice, his head's getting closer to the top of that cage all the time. He's going to be a pterodactyl, I think, when he grows up. Still peeping. Peep, 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 peep. You peeping, baby? Peep, 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 peep. peep. Oh, you're not going to peep for me? No? Okay. Listen, guys. Nothing's happening with the water. I'm on the keto diet hot and heavy again um, and feeling better every day so try to stay away from the carbs as much as possible do your own thing whatever makes you feel good hey you know what even if you are a high carb low fat person I love you anyway just do what's good for you and that's the main thing we got to keep together stay together and keep each other motivated I love you all like share and subscribe to keep up with the insanity if I didn't say it before I said it again or like the kids say, you already told us that, Grandma. I know, I'm old. Just bear with me here. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye-bye.